Hello. I want to tell you about an amazing place called Helen and Douglas House, a place where children and young people with life-shortening illnesses can come for expert care, support and friendship, and they can bring their families too. Knowing that your child is going to die must be one of the worst things any family could ever face. But this journey does not have to be done alone. At Helen and Douglas House, you can have fun and laughter along the way. It's not about the length of life, it's about the depth. Helen House made an enormous difference to us. It was like having a massive safety net to fall into every so often. A lot of our happiest memories as a family are here. We recently had someone come and look around and they said it wasn't anything what they thought it would be like. And there was laughter, there was music going on in the music room, there was music going on in the restaurant. It's more like a hotel, really. It just happens to be a hotel that can cater very well indeed for disability. We look forward to Charlotte going off and staying on her own and I know she's totally safe. She only has to ask for anything and there's somebody that will give her something, even if it's just a cuddle. Douglas House is set in the same beautiful grounds. It provides respite and acute medical care for young adults and also bereavement care for their families. Some of the teenagers who used Helen House helped to design the new building to meet their needs. When a child has died in Helen House, the family stay in the room the child died in for as long as they need to. And then at some point they will make a decision to take the child to our special little room. The child can remain in that room until the funeral, if that is what the family would like. The family usually stay with us in Helen House in between that time, in one of our flats, and are able to go in and out of the room to see their child as often as they need to, day or night. It's about really trying to offer support to the whole family, not just to the sick child, but to the whole family. It's important to look at the original definition of hospice, which is a place of rest and refreshment for people on a journey. And these children are on a journey, and uh, so are their families in a, in a different way. And what we try to do is to journey with them a little bit, to walk the walk, if you like. Uh, because it can be such a lonely, uh, as well as incredibly tra tragic situation. As a parent, I simply cannot imagine what these families must go through. It costs four and a half million pounds every year to run these two incredible hospices. Your support will make an incredible difference to these families' lives. Thank you.